Hey everyone, Gregor Arturo here in pristine Southern California. Uh, I'm making moves down here in LA in the world of business and actually moving forward with Public Benefit Corporation. It's a really wonderful thing to finally see my work come to the world and, and not just be my work but our work as we all have different pieces to the puzzle. However, with this conversation, I really want to talk about conscious exchange and what that means to me, what that means to a lot of people in the world of business. And that for a long time, being, say, an activist or a hippie, uh, I pushed money away. I pushed away a lot of opportunities in my reality in that I felt all business was tainted on this planet. And that's not true. And that money is energy, but energy isn't money. And there's a big difference in that. Our current uh, form of energy that we engage in on the daily is money, but there's still barter. There's still lots of other forms of exchange. And that's really at the heart of business. And there are times where I engage people in a transaction, which can be something really simple to something really complex, but in terms of how I feel about it and how people treat me and I treat them, I'm saying the customer is always right, but really there's a mutual uh, exchange of just, of just respect and decency and that we're not trying to one up each other and that's what capitalism has always always pushed forward with competition now we're always trying to one up each other in terms of like I'm receiving this product and I'm giving you this in exchange for it uh, do you feel good about what you're getting do I feel good about getting we both feel good awesome you know that's that's simple good business and so I had two exchanges today on both polarities one being really good and one being like yeah it doesn't really resonate with me in that way and so right now I have a crowd fundraiser going to raise the incorporation fees and the uh, provisional patents I'm about to file really awesome news to throw out there in terms of the patents I just landed a patent lawyer who did the patent for Napster and hopefully we'll be meeting with him next week here in LA and so great things in the works I have Karen Miller a technology lawyer uh, who wrote Global Values wants to work with me uh, Zach Corzine who's brilliant in contract law and business plans I hope they will be working with as well um, and lots of other interesting ind individuals uh, through through all networks and all scopes not just say the engineering field and that there are these business and legal aspects that are really important in how we go about doing business and so one thing in terms of where I'm coming at right now is I'm being very specific and precise in terms of how am I going about this business what does it mean to me to be integral with myself and with this business with the team I'm working with the people I'm pulling in on the projects and I have turned down many contracts many opportunities many times people would say in terms of selling out uh, I've turned down opportunities working with the residence project and that and I've even worked out a research firm associated with the residence project and the way that business has gone about there's many things that I'm just like Ugh, that doesn't like resonate here in my heart you know there's some like logic that says you know what this isn't a bad idea but in essence it, it doesn't feel right and especially when you have contracts that can take all of your work, fire you at you know, a drop of a dime, and you lose everything. And so the thing with this tilt, this crowd fundraiser right now, I use the phrase for the tilt, securing humanity's future. In that for the last eight years with me working in energy systems, there, there's a notion that any technology is a double-edged sword. It can go in both directions. And so if I'm going to bring forward this concept, this technology to the public sphere, to the planet, and it can go in either direction. The nuclear bomb is a great, great example. Some people say it's for war, some people say it's for peace. It can go in either direction. My honest opinion, it really just gets pushed way over here towards war. Uh, and that it's really how do you use this technology? And so there is a responsibility with the inventor with bringing that forward. Now, there's already plenty of karma on the planet. I don't want to bring more karma here. I want to resolve it. I want to heal it. I want to grow from it. And, and not just creating more sludge for us to swim around in and, and move at a slower and slower pace as our whole society is coming to this like huge gridlock, especially financially. And so how do we liberate that? How do we move things forward? 
And so it's been my responsibility over the years with moving forward these concepts that don't sell out, Gregor. Be, be your authentic self. Hold that integrity. And so even right now I'm saying for the incorporation fee for this temporary LLC that we're offering under until we go to a public benefit corporation, it's only $50. But the thing is, the people are providing it. The people are supporting this project and that I then have a responsibility to the people, which I have the responsibility anyways, but there's a beauty in the power to the people in terms of conscious exchange in that all these people will send these little donations and the intent behind giving that energy, behind the foundation of this company coming into existence is beautiful, it's sound, it's true. And that every aspect that goes into this, there is heart, there is soul, there is love. And we've lost so much of that in corporate America and the whole corporate scheme of the planet. Everything in business has been skewed. It's, it's, it's just been falling apart. And so I want to make a difference in this world. And the route of nonprofits or traditional activism or protest, it doesn't really work. And as much as I would love it to, we got to play the game. And I can completely play their game. And that Buckminster Fuller says, one of his big concepts within systems theory is you gotta change the system from the inside. You can't fight fire with fire. And so I will play capitalism, I will play their game. Because one of the beautiful things right now is sustainable technologies, green technologies are in. They are actually, in a lot of venues, becoming more profitable than, in, uh, than previously. So it's actually advantageous for these big businesses to go this route in terms of the savings they're making, especially as things are getting tightened down. And so, like the Hyperloop project, which I've been in negotiations with, um, uh, the beautiful thing about Hyperloop is there is the opportunity with where things are going um, in the world market, even though oil's dropping right down right now, but aside from that, it's just, it's more sustainable. Uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity to move forward that technology in that the airline companies can crash overnight like they did, uh, they've been doing. Um, and so sustainability is in. And so in the world of profits, everything we're doing, we can play as opportunists to step into that game. And so one of the big things right now is nanomaterials. That, that whole nanotechnologies market taking off. Last year, it was a $2 billion industry. This year, they're forecasting a $5.8 billion industry. That's over 250% growth. And so, what if I have an idea that can like step into that market? Beautiful opportunity. Beautiful opportunity to move forward with that. And that's how I've been going about with everything. Because in terms of business, in terms of this work, the, one of the things I've learned most is I've talked about Occam's razor, the simplest answer is usually the best. Well, that coincides with the path of least resistance. Let's move the path of least resistance. Let's not build a door so I can walk through it. There's plenty of doors all around to step in. And so if there's this nanomaterial market opening up tremendously right now, I'm just gonna walk into it. It's that simple. And that there's all these markets opening up right now. There's all these opportunities for growth and change. And that one of the things that set me aside from the metaphysical movement is everything's okay. And yeah, I say everything's okay, but to evolve, to transition from these higher realms of being into the now, into this third dimensional, very physical existence, there is work to be done. There is things that we have to engage in if we want to reach that level of evolution. And really, the beautiful thing is we're not reaching a level of evolution, we're just continually evolving. And when we as a species move that path of least resistance on the daily, we're gonna evolve faster than we could ever imagine before. So let's transmute our financial system. Let's transmute our political system. Let's transmute our scientific observations of our reality and how we apply them to technology and engineering and academia. Let's evolve our academic institutions. Let's teach people how to teach themselves, to teach them the actual process of learning. 
of taking that information in, of how to teach yourself to observe and to process that information, move it forward, instead of giving you this fact, this fact, this fact, this fact, this fact. Let us figure out the facts on their own. Because the beautiful thing with physics and how I've been experiencing things personally, it's my own personal experience. And if anything, personal experience is the most profound. And for me, this is, this is what has brought me to this point is I have this little experience, say, outdoors in mother nature, as simple as like flushing a toilet, and uh, which is indoors, it's a man-made thing, but there's experiences everywhere. Man-made uh, situations are just an extension of nature. Everything is nature, society is nature. Conversation, communication, it's all nature. We're just at different points in the evolution of nature. And that if you observe any of these points and you see something, you're like, oh, that's how that's happening. Ding, light bulb revelation, okay? That's true learning, that's true experience. It's the same with the whole vaccine movement in that my immunity of chicken pox is stronger than people that have gotten the vaccine from chicken pox. That is a scientific fact, okay? People can argue what they want, but it's known that true immunity is stronger than a vaccine because it's, I've had the actual experience. It's actually ingrained in my being. And from there comes true learning, true growth, where there is this false notion that someone learns something and then they teach someone else and then they teach someone else and everyone's doing it on faith and that we're learning from faith instead of, which is faith in the external instead of faith in the self. I have faith in my understandings of gravity because of my own personal experiences, not because what someone's told me in a book. It's a whole different spectrum. And so with this whole experience, there is this beautiful aspect of what it means to be integral through the process. And how we go about learning, how we go about exchange, how we go about creating. But there's all these different processes in which we interact with our reality. But what does it mean to be in integrity with that? In that there's something I feel right here in my heart. People can tell me whatever they want to say, whatever belief systems exist in the whole of our universe. What I feel right here, that is my strength. That is my confidence. That is where I move forward with my courage to do what I'm doing on the daily. And so this might be an all illusion out here. And I'm going to interact with this illusion in all these different ways. But what it means for me to stay in integrity is that I stay aligned to what I feel in here. Because if I don't, I feel guilty, I feel sad, I feel depressed, because I'm not living up to what I want to live in. And that my heart is an extension of my free will. And that philosophical concept is probably very new for the planet to really understand. But I'm gonna do everything in my conscious power to embody it, to protect and evolve the knowledge I'm bringing forth so it's it's distributed responsibly. I turned down a contract two months ago for a workshop here in LA that had a contract with DARPA developing uh, a taser grenade. And a lot of people were like, you should take it. It's a non-lethal weapon. They're trying to convince me it's a non-lethal weapon. And I'm like, it's still a weapon. It's still a weapon. And there's many technologies that are bridges, but that's one that I'm not gonna participate in. And for the simple reason that there is a notion that if someone has a, um, a pacemaker, it will kill them. It will kill people that are, it, it will kill people. It's not fun. But besides that point, besides that point, I turned it down because out, it was out of my integrity. And so I'm not gonna lecture anyone. I'm not gonna project my views onto you. You're welcome to do whatever you want. It's a free will universe. However, I'm gonna stand true to what I believe, what I feel in my heart, and that this business I'm bringing forth onto the earth plane is going to be one of integrity. The people I work with and choose to work with are gonna be people of integrity. I'm very thankful for the close team I'm already working with a special shout out to Dylan and Zach. You guys are amazing. You're doing wonderful things. 
thank you for everything. And some beautiful things are about to happen, not just with what I'm working with, but in so many people. The new map team is coming forward and working with United Earth. Delphi in Vegas is taking off. Before we know it, we're gonna have a full time, 365 day a year transformational event center, the first festival venue in the US to help us evolve and develop community and work together. There are so many beautiful things on the front right now. So many, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the biggest thing right now is you're seeing a bridge of the old paradigm and of the new. You're seeing how it's interweaving together and that there's investors of the old world who would not touch the stuff we're working with, but they're starting to see it. They're starting to connect the dots. A lot of people are starting to connect the dots. So I wanna thank you for any dots you've connected, for any energy you've helped move, for staying in your integrity when it's been like the hardest, most mind-numbing, soul-bending, crunching thing at times to move forward as you're just getting beat back down. But this is the end of victim consciousness. I had been beat down this week and last week and the week before, the whole year. It happens all the time, but I'm back, standing up in front, Moving forward, that's per, uh, <laughs> uh, persevering, moving forward, self-discipline. There's so many words I can throw out that have like such power, like compassion, Ooh, and humility, and forgiveness, but we don't need to go there because you know these things. It's in Hollywood, it's, it's in daily interactions. The question is, do you choose to embody it? I do. And I continue to embody it and move forward what I feel is right in my heart. I'm not going to allow anyone to manipulate me anymore and think so differently. Because I've been in so many moments of insanity with the external world projecting their views onto me and being, am I, am I an ego monger? Am I just feeling the power within me? And no, no. I've been living from right here almost this whole time and it's the outside world that's been skewing it and then that because I let that energy come in I then embody it not anymore I'm gonna live from right here and everything I do is going to be be projected out into the world we all have that capability when we all start doing that this world can change overnight everything can change overnight so unbelievably fast and so the small things are powerful they really are you know like just stop buying coffee at Starbucks that's one little thing you know the way they brew their beans causes cancer and the irony is in California it's the one state where they have a little sign that tells you to inform it but people still buy it people still choose to poison themselves and that's free will they are welcome to it but if you really want change because everyone's a hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite at times. And so right now I'm minimizing how much hypocritical nature I am with what I'm saying I'm doing on my daily actions because I realized, oh wait, this is technically like out of alignment with my belief system. Well, I'm gonna change that and move it around and come more and more into alignment and embodying what I believe right here. And so if anything, Let's move forward together. Interdependence is the, the future in so many ways. No more codependence, no more independence, no more accepting the dynamics of master and slave. I accept sovereignty. I accept beauty. I accept love. I accept transcendence and evolution of our being, physical and consciousness. at the same time on the more grounded physical plane of existence if you want to support this project that many of us are working on now and coming together the alchemists are back and we're here to make the world a beautiful place that is the purpose of man we are the most advanced elementals on this planet we are here to create our hand is built for it. Same with our minds, same with 
every aspect of our existence. We are the co-creators on the earth plane. So let's, let's live it out. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. Your perseverance will pay off wholeheartedly. Because there's more and more every day on this planet persevering and waking up to very simple truths. Let's embody this in everything we do, from ourself to our conscious exchanges. There's so many ways to embody it. And just trying to note and observe, oh wait, I can change that little thing and make a huge difference on my life and others. Love all of you. Good luck. You don't need luck. It's all good. Just be true to yourself. Blessings.